Hello everybody! Today's video is Lindy Darling Wallace's first week video. One week of life. <laughs> she is doing amazing. So we'll talk about how she's doing and we'll talk about how I'm doing, my, my postpartum recovery. Um, and yeah, well let's get right into it. Lindy has been here one week today. I can't believe it's been a week. It has literally been, it's flown by. It feels like I just had her yesterday. But then sometimes it feels like she's been here longer too. Like she's always been here. But um, yeah, she's a week old. Um, we just had her one week doctor's appointment and she weighs seven pounds, 12 ounces. So she's already surpassed her birth weight. Hallelujah. She's still 20 and a half inches long. Um, she is literally um, doing amazing. Um, the doctors were just thrilled. Everything went really well at the doctors. There was nothing to be concerned about, which was a relief. Um, Cause you know, I, I, ever since we found out about Griffin and his Angelman syndrome, that has definitely been something I was concerned about until she was born um just i know it was really it's really rare and it's it it doesn't usually happen more than once in a family when it happens but i was just nervous that she would have it and it's you know it's not fun and it's a traumatic experience when your infant is ill and so i am relieved that she is okay and she's perfect and healthy. Lindy is nursing and we are supplementing with formula. So pretty much how it works is I nurse her first and then usually within 10 to 15 minutes after I'm done nursing her, she starts crying. So I usually give her about an ounce to an ounce and a half of formula. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know if I get more milk supply that I'll be completely nursing her completely or if, if I don't make enough, I'll have to use more formula. I'm really just playing it by ear and trying to see how she is doing. Uh, I'm not gonna beat myself up if I don't get more milk. I It's just the way it is. I, I'm doing the best I can and she's getting some and that's all that matters to me. Her sleep has been really good, I think, for a newborn. It gets up about twice a night and again, I nurse her and then I usually top her off with about an ounce of formula. And she sleeps about three to four hours straight right now. Don't know if it's going to continue. I hope it does, I hope it actually gets better and yeah, she sleeps better, but I am thrilled with how her sleep habits are. Um, you know, I'm tired, I am rested, but I'm not, you know, I, I can still have more sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can still sleep more, but um, yeah, I'm thrilled. I it could be worse, way worse. Uh, she could be up every hour screaming, and that actually happened the first two nights at the hospital. Um, because my milk didn't come in, she was starving and she cried and cried and cried and I was crying because she was crying and um, I just, it was hard. It was really, really, really hard. I didn't want to use myself as a pacifier. So I didn't want her to nurse so much where I hurt myself. So it was, it was really challenging, um, but we got through it and yeah, but it was, can't tell you that I was crying and it was, it was, it was hard. It was really hard. So she is in newborn clothes. She's in newborn diapers. Um, her umbilical cord actually fell off today, which is hooray. Uh, we were at the doctor's office and the doctor thought I wanted to keep it. And I was like, no, I don't want to keep that. <laughs> I just, one, I wouldn't know what to do with it. And two, it's ew, icky. <laughs> so I just, we tossed that. And so her belly button is completely clear. So she can have real baths now, not just sponge baths. She is loving all the attention from her siblings, I think, <laughs> when she's awake. Her siblings seem to love her and seem to just want to be with her, um, especially when she definitely wants to just hold her and kiss her and pick her up. And um, I'm still like gentle because <laughs> Winnie's still learning her strength. Um, but she definitely loves being a big sister when to her sisters, she is definitely a little mama. She is my little sidekick. It's adorable. Um, I'm just in love. Yeah, they're, I'm in love with all my my girls and my boys. It's just, it, it really feels complete now. Uh, it's a great feeling. It really is a great feeling. Sorry, I'm like leaning like sideways, but I want her to be in this shot for you guys. <laughs> I think Lindy has the super longest fingers I've ever seen. I put that on Instagram when people were saying that she's gonna be like a piano player. But I, you know, that'd be amazing. I don't know, or she's gonna be really tall. I know Harrison had really long hands fingers and he's really tall for his age so we will see if lindy will be a a tall a tall girl or not <laughs> um she still has um a lot of hair i don't know if she's gonna lose it i know sometimes brunettes do lose their hair um her hair is still very coned shape um which is fine i'm not bothered by it but i think hats do look better on her than <laughs> not wearing a hat right now 
Um, yeah, she does take a pacifier really well, which is good. Um, sorry, if you hear all that thumping, it's my kids. <laughs> she sleeps right next to us in her rock and play at night, and we swaddle her. She's doing really, really good. We are just overjoyed with her. So we'll do a little bit of me, my postpartum recovery. I'm doing really, really good. I am still in pain in my back and in my pelvic bone when I walk um, or when I'm sitting. My pelvic bone still is really messed up. I don't know how long it'll take for it to go away, but it's definitely still uncomfortable. I still kind of limp when I walk. I kind of still walk like I'm pregnant, like really waddly. Um, especially if I sit for a while and stand up, it really hurts. So. I'm handling that. I'm still bleeding. I am definitely lighter than I've ever been with any of my pregnancy deliveries afterward, which is, I really, it's nice. Uh, I'm not like, you know, usually I'm really heavy for the first week, week and a half, and I'm kind of just, I, think I would say normal or average. So that's been a relief. Uh, I definitely, don't, I'm not so like, oh my God, I gotta change my pad out. I gotta go in the bathroom, blah, blah. It's just been nice. So that's been really good. Nursing is still is going well. Uh, my letdown still hurts like how I did with Posey, but not as bad. Um, but I don't know if that's a little change as if I keep nursing her, um, if it'll get better, but that's something I'm dealing with right now. I have lost for weight about 10 pounds, which I'm thrilled. Uh, I would hope I'm hoping to get another 10 off in a few months and then I'll be close to where I was before I got pregnant. My postpartum depression, I don't think I, I have any signs of it yet, but I'm definitely keeping a close eye on it because I've had that before. Uh, but I'm really busy. You know, I feel like the busier you are, at least with me, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'm just constantly doing something. You know, I don't have a lot of time to think and dwell and be sad or whatever. Um, it's just something always is happening. <laughs> you know, when you have this many kids, it's just, your world is just constantly spinning. And when you do get a moment to think, and you're really just like, I'm tired, let me sleep, or I, or you wanna like watch a TV show and you don't wanna be sad. So I'm hoping that it just doesn't happen. Um, I don't think it will. I mean, I really only had it ha had it with Harrison, who was my first, which I think was just the shock of being a new mom. And then with the twins, of course, Griffin was sick. And I really think that might have been just depression because he was sick. I don't know if I would have gotten it if if he wasn't. So uh, I am going to keep an eye on it because I don't want to go down a rabbit hole. I do not want to feel that feeling. I do not want that runaway feeling uh, to come because that is, it's a horrible feeling. And it's, it's, it's irrational. And <laughs> it's, yeah, and I know it goes away, but I'm definitely keeping a close eye on myself. And so is Will, so yeah. I do have another symptom that's come up. I am very itchy on my belly. I know that is something that can happen to women, uh, especially right where my belly button is. Uh, but it's just really itchy and it happens sporadically. I'll just be like, I gotta itch my stomach, ah! Oh. It's, it's, it's annoying and um, I'm just dealing with it. I put a lot of lotion on, it seems to help. But yeah, definitely annoying and itchy. Uh, I am dealing with hemorrhoids right now, which is awful. I pushed really hard at the end with, with Lindy. I, I, it was a crazy, uh, we didn't really film that part because I was really exposed. And I don't, Will would have had to really blur a lot and it really, we didn't think it would look well, like on film, like literally half the screen blurred. <laughs> but I pushed really hard at the end and I'm pretty sure that's how I got these hemorrhoids. Um, because they're, yeah, they're a doozy, but I am taking suppositories and I have ointment and I know they will go away. Um, but yeah, I'm dealing with that and it's, it's lovely. It's just lovely. Well, I think that is it for Lindy's first week of life and my little postpartum update for you guys. I will do my own postpartum update at one month and two months and three months, but I want to do a little one for you guys right now because we're doing her update. Um, just to let you guys know how I'm doing. I feel really good. I feel really good that I can move and bend over right now. Um, I just, cause it was really hard at the end. I just, moving was difficult. I'm still sore by all means, but I, moving and bending is really good. I can pick up the kids and it feels pretty good. But yeah, so that is it for our update. And we are so thankful that you guys are watching and please subscribe if you are new. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to see cute pictures of all my kids and especially Lindy Darling over here. She is definitely, ruling my Instagram right now because she's just so cute <laughs> and I'm just in love. Oh, Posey's upset. I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget guys, you are wonderful. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. bye.